you guys remember that I said I was going to be gone for about a week. And guess what? That's about as long as it took for me to make my transition from Pin Guy OS over to Arch. And today, I figured I'd go ahead and give you a review right after I roll the intro. Oh. Right, I have just about returned my computer to its former glory when I was running PinGuy OS. I'm running Arch Linux, and let me tell you folks, this bar none is the quickest little operating system I have ever used. Out of all the, uh, it beats Windows, it beats PinGuy, it beats Lubuntu. Any XFCE-based uh, Linux, Linux bundles, this is a wonderful operating system. This is also a rolling release distro, and that means I get to run Bleeding Edge. Uh, let me go ahead and close this here. I'm showing that I'm running Linux kernel 3.2.1. I run an update on this. And so every time something new comes out, I get a new update immediately. And um, you'll notice in my previous episode that I was running OpenBox, and I have that as a secondary window manager on here. And I'm using Compiz as a standalone window manager. I'm with the uh, Avant Window Navigator, and I installed the Thunar File Manager for accessing my files. All of these are very nice and lightweight and um, and they all they, they do everything that I need them to do. I uh, toyed around and I pulled a number of different programs down to play with to see which uh, you know which ones I would like. And I think I finally have a really good mix here. And that is the nice thing about Arch Linux. It is very lightweight, it is small, and you know it is um, exactly what you want out of your Linux system nothing more nothing less and um, I actually installed this I used uh, Archbang as a base and I removed all the unnecessary drivers and that sort of thing and uh, and I installed the programs that I wanted to okay and you'll see up here that I have the Avant window navigator installed and uh, Instead of using uh, the old plugin that I was using before, actually Compiz is doing my uh, window previews. I have a few simple little icons up here. And then I have my Cardapio menu back. I was able to get that working. And I had some trouble at first, but after a little bit of uh, toying around and that sort of thing, I was able to uh, get everything working to my satisfaction. Um, is Arch Linux good for beginners? No. I would recommend that you have at least six months of experience with an Ubuntu-based distribution and that you're comfortable with it, with using a terminal because a lot of the things for setting up an Arch-based system require that you use a terminal to edit uh, some of your configuration files and that sort of thing. Also, when you're installing your system, you don't have a graphic user interface to start with. However, with ArchBang, you do. But the thing is, if you want to change that user interface, then you have a little bit of work ahead of you. Fortunately, though, there is a lot of documentation on the ArchWiki website. It will answer any questions that you could possibly want to have answered and takes you through step by step. And, of course, there are plenty of applications that you can also obtain through the Arch user repositories. But those packages, you might have if you're having a little bit of difficulty you might have to sniff around on the forums or actually visit the developers website to get the answers you're looking for all in all Arch Linux is a wonderful operating system uh, I think uh, by far the best one that I've ever tried I love how this looks and I'm very pleased with its performance and uh, I'm glad I took the time to uh, get this installed. It, ne it nearly took me a week just to get it 
up to where I have it now and I still haven't installed all of my applications or anything just yet but I'll be doing that through the course of the day getting all of my wine applications installed and getting uh, my virtual machines back up to snuff and that sort of thing so it was definitely a rocky a rough rocky ride but now that you know now that I've got a good base system to build upon uh, now it's going to be a nice uh, easier transition from here on out if there's anything you would like to see in terms of Arch Linux, please place a comment below. In the uh, coming up in the uh, next uh, few days or in a week's time, I am going to start a series on Arch, and I'm going to take you through uh, doing some really cool things with it. But first, I'm going to show you how to install it, and then uh, I'll also show you how to install some different window managers in it and get them working. I'll show you how to uh, do some customizations and that sort of thing. So, and uh, I'll do the tutorials using ArchBang because it is a great, it's a great way to bridge the gap between intermediate, you know, for, for, for semi-intermediate to intermediate users who want to really harness the power of Arch Linux. Well, that's all I've got for right now. Uh, definitely a hearty thumbs up on Arch Linux. So if you've got a little bit of experience with Linux and you don't mind uh, earning a few gray hours and maybe uh, digging your nose into some documentation, Arch Linux is definitely worth giving a try. I'm glad that I've done this. Pin guy, I'm sorry that I switched. I see. Uh, I still got open box, but I'm not going to use it that much. All right. Well, thank you all for watching, and we'll see you next time.